guys you see how that work women only get shamed out of the gym by other women that's good information to know you see how these women are only shamed or feel some type of embarrassment when other women tell them about it or call them out but when we call them out you know they twice as offended and all this stuff and in this next video guys we got a woman who was actually kicked out of a women's only gym let's check it out who is in the gym and the fitness world I've struggled with body dysmorphia and feeling comfortable in gyms my entire life. And when I found a gym that I felt comfortable in and that I really enjoyed, um, it changed my life. Now, I need your real genuine advice on this because something really, really disappointing happened to me at the last gym I was going to. They actually said something to me that made me feel so uncomfortable that I never wanted to go back there again. So we are gonna talk about why I pulled up this photo and I'll show it to you in a moment. But um, basically what happened is the owner of the gym came up to me. Um, this is also a very private owned fitness center. It's all women. And um, I really liked that. So the owner comes up to me and they say, hey, listen, uh, we gotta have a quick chat. And I'm like, sure, what's going on? And I could sense that something was wrong because the conversation got uncomfortable really quickly. And they said, hey, we gotta have a talk about your dress code. I'm like, my dress code? You know, I wear leggings and a sports bra every day. That's just what I wear. And this day in particular, I was wearing these yellow leggings that I'll show to you in a second guys this lady here don't even get it why you know something's off with her because it looks like she's wearing a bra in this video guys tell me this don't look like a bra scrap right there in a second and they continue to say i'm really sorry we have to have this conversation but um apparently you're making a few women feel uncomfortable with the leggings that you wear my initial reaction is confusion and shock um, and then it was more of like embarrassment. Um, I almost felt like shame, even though I shouldn't. And I said, how am I making women feel uncomfortable here? This is supposed to be like a safe space for us, no judgment. And you know, I wasn't wearing anything that was inappropriate. And they're like, yeah, I don't know. There, you know, a few women, more than one came up to me and said that, uh, you know, the leggings that you wear are, you know, distracting and um, also offensive. I was like, offensive? You know, when I think of like clothing that is offensive, I mean, if I was walking around in a thong or something, maybe I could understand. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the pants that I was wearing. So these are the pants. I have them in multiple now lady i've never heard a woman getting offended by just some regular leggings in a sports bra these got to be some type of special leggings they might be see-through some lace or some crap wearing so these are the pants i have them in multiple colors they are bright um you know my assets do maybe stand out more but i don't think that there's anything wrong with this why why am i being shamed by this especially for a women's gym i really want your opinion um if you are an owner of a gym i would love to hear an explanation on why this would be offensive or if you are a gym goer or another woman would my pants offend you and now i feel self-conscious all over again comment below guys guys we can be for sure that this is not the outfit that got her kicked out of the gym out of all the gym leggings she got she chose to act like it was just this picture here show your other leggings workout pants i bet they don't look like this when women call women out in the gym come on guys we know it's for a reason or she probably wasn't wearing any underwear under these and her imprints let's say was sticking out a lot of men don't like it and a lot of women don't like it simply because we don't want to see all that up in the gym this is in no way body shaming. I'm making it clear right now, this has nothing to do with her weight. If I'm not sleeping with you, I'm not trying to see all of that. So yeah, her big ass need to get kicked out. <laughs> big girls, I ain't got a problem with y'all. I'm not forcing you to see what I got, so don't force me to see what you got. Y'all complain about men being creepy. I'm trying to really protect y'all, ladies. And y'all just sitting here rejecting me. So listen, when dudes come up, and they talking to you and harassing you at the gym. I don't want to hear nothing. Lord, thank you. Finally, we had a man to say it.
Mm, mm, mm. So some guy in this gym literally had the audacity to come up to me and literally I'm minding my own business, setting my camera up to record this exercise because I post workouts to help others. He came up to me and called me a clown. And I told him straight up, I don't care about your opinion. I'm literally not doing anything. You're not in my way. I'm literally the most respectful person when I record my videos, like possible. I literally will ask people if they're in the back of it, like saying, hey, like you're in the back of my video. Do you mind if I record? Like Lady, that so-called creep, he has a right to his privacy too. He don't want to be in your video. My video, do you mind if I record right here? And there's literally like no law at the gym that says like no cameras, please. Literally every one of the moms here records. <laughs> Saw the audacity come up and harass me, would not stop harassing me. Literally, like, shaking right now, <laughs> trying to hold it together and not cry, like, literally shaking. Like, I don't know if you can see my hands right now, but this is me telling you to continue doing what you're doing and don't let the opinion of some guy that's clearly very insecure and unhappy in his life trigger you. Because the reason why he's triggered that I'm recording right now has everything to do with him and not me. That is all. See, this is the stuff we're talking about. You're talking about crying because a man came up and told you that he don't want to be filmed in the background and he called you a so-called clown. I don't believe that part. This is why women in the gym are dangerous. She can just start their waterworks and start crying and just call the cops and say that she feel that this man is harassing her and this guy may possibly go to jail. I can't believe I got this on video. Oh my god. It's not even that revealing. I've seen worse. Well, I would have been like, mind your business. Was filming a workout back in January when this happened. I was watching myself in the mirror, so that's how I saw it. He denied that he took a picture which made me feel crazy for thinking it. Yes ma'am, out of the 50 guys in the gym, one or two may be a creep. It is what it is, but it's an open gym and, and you should cover up some. Wrap a jacket or a sweater around your waist if you're worried about this type of thing. Or, or go join a women's gym where they may kick you out of there too. <laughs> but that's all I got in this video. You guys drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about this gym thought lifestyle that's going on. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like the video. Thanks for watching to the end. I will see you in the next one.